This story starts with this house, accented with columns from a different generation and antique lanterns hanging over the front porch. About a month ago, it was flipped and sold to Zach and Shannon Carter. This house was built back in the 70s, so everything was just about torn up and redone, but not these cabinets. And this is where the Carters found love letters decades old. Stacks of them in aging envelopes postmarked between 1948 and 49. Turns out the letters belong to the original homeowners, William Middleton and his beloved Doreen. Shannon couldn't help but start reading the letters. I mean, being that old, I was just too curious. Uh, typically, she would stay up late at night and read them. His nickname was Bud. I thought it was interesting because he was uh, a war veteran. The letters were written by Bud after the war. He was in college in Georgia. Doreen is from Canada. That's where the letters were sent. Talked about how he was in love with her and eventually they wanted to get married um, and he wanted her to, to come and be with him. And she did. Eventually they moved to Pensacola, had kids and built this house. Not lost on the Carters is the parallel between their love stories. You see, before Zach put this ring on Shannon two years ago, they had a long distance relationship for three years. Zach was in Pensacola, Shannon was going to school in Texas. Though they admit they didn't write love letters. It was more so uh, video love letters. We had Skype, so we Skyped a lot. Um, a little different than it was back when they were young and in love. Shannon wanted to return the letters to Bud and Doreen, but she learned both had passed away. Though she found their sons, they have these letters now. I think it's, you know, something that any child would want to have from their parents. They said it was, you know, the best thing they could receive. A long lost lover's tale finding its way to a couple just starting theirs. And what better place to do that than in a house built by love. We were like, wow, this is a great find. It sure was. After all, home is where the heart is. Reporting in Pensacola, Anthony Pura, Channel 3 News.